Inside this very box is the latest version of one of my favorite bikes of all time, the Polygon Siskiyou T8. And in just a sec, I'm gonna tell you why, but I can't wait and I'm about to bust this box open right now. I said at the start of the video that the Siskiyou T8 is one of my favorite bikes that I've ever ridden, and I'm not the only one who feels that way. The bike has been praised by industry experts for years, and a huge reason for that is the bike's all-around performance. So today, we're going to take a look and see just how versatile the T8 can be by ranking it in five different terrain categories, starting with flow trails, jumps, technical climbs, technical descents, and a surprise fifth category that I'll reveal at the end of the video. Along the way, I'll also show off the three rad colors that it's available in, including the newest gold livery you're looking at now. But first, you should leave a comment below sharing with me what type of terrain you prefer the most. Now, back to the T8. Now the first category we're going to be ranking the bike in is flow trails. And my fellow Bikes Online ambassador, Mason, has ridden countless miles on some of the best flow trails in the world in his hometown of Bentonville, Arkansas. As you can see, Mason is on the original T8 colorway, purple, which looks just as good now as it did when it was launched back in 2020. The purple frame is a polygon classic, subtle from afar, but unique and flashy up close. Couple the rad paint job with the sleek internal cable routing and you have yourself a bike that looks like it costs twice as much as it actually does. And while I could talk about the frame's looks all day, we've gotta move on to the riding. The T8's modern geometry is perfect for the high-speed berms, rollers, and tabletop jumps you'll likely encounter on flow trails. The T8's linkage suspension, which I'll touch more on later, helps the bike to excel in this terrain as well, making the bike feel lively and poppy, but still plenty forgiving when you misjudge just how big a particular feature may be. I guess you could say that the T8 was built for flow trails like the ones you might find in Bentonville, and for that reason, I give it a full five stars in this category. But while you might find a lot of airtime on a flow trail, the next category we'll be ranking are the dirt jumps. One of the things Mason really loves about his T8 is just how natural it really feels on those jumps. And this comes down to a variety of geometry and spec choices that the Polygon engineers have intentionally included for this very reason. The bike's low standover height and short chain stays help him throw his signature whips with ease. I, as a shorter rider, also appreciate that the small and medium frames are available with 27.5 inch wheels. This gives the rider extra room to maneuver on top of the bike, which not only helps while in the air, but also while climbing and descending technical terrain. All in all, the T8 earns itself four out of five stars when it comes to the dirt jumps. While it may not be as maneuverable as Polygon's dedicated dirt jumper, the Trid, it's more than enough bike to not only learn the basics, but to throw down some serious moves. And while I, like so many others, love spending my time with the dirt jumps, climbing technical XC terrain can actually be just as rewarding with the right mindset and of course, the right bike. Thankfully, the T8 is no slouch here as well. But before we talk more about the climbs, let's just look at the bike. I mean, just look at the subtle features like the color-coordinated paint poking through the seat post clamp and the textured paint on the down tube. But do you know what I love more than looking at it? Actually riding it. My Charcoal T8 has been my companion on dozens of XC rides and has helped improve my confidence on technical climbs like this one. Yeah! One of the things that makes a T8 such an effective climber is its 12-speed Shimano SLX drivetrain. Shimano is widely regarded as making some of the smoothest shifting group sets on the planet. And this ease of use combined with its wide range of gears takes the edge off of even the toughest climbs. Another factor that greatly enhances the bike's climbing ability is Polygon's tried and true linkage-driven single pivot suspension that keeps the rear wheel glued to the ground even when climbing wet, slippery roots and rocks. The Fox Float DPS shock also has a lockout switch that can be used when maximal efficiency is favored over grip. In total, I'm going to give the T8 4.5 out of 5 stars in technical climbing. The ALX alloy frame isn't as light as a carbon bike, but it's durable, reliable, and doesn't really hinder performance for the average rider. 
At the same time, its dialed drivetrain and exceptional grip have greatly improved my confidence on challenging climbs, making my time on the bike that much more fun. And speaking of fun, we've made it to our fourth category, technical descent. <laughs> and this is probably the type of terrain my Charcoal T8 has seen the most of over the past year. It even got me on the podium of an enduro race last summer. I mentioned earlier that the bike has pretty aggressive geometry for a trail bike, and that makes it exceptionally fast and forgiving when the trail gets chunky. The T8 also comes with high quality Fox suspension. Both the shock and the fork feature air springs with adjustable rebound and compression settings. This means that they are highly tunable and can be adjusted to fit your specific needs as a rider. At the front of the bike is a Fox 34 performance fork with 150 millimeters of travel on the 27.5 inch bikes and 140 mils on the 29ers. The Fox Float DPS shock that I mentioned earlier has been specifically tuned by the Polygon engineers to be soft at the top but ramps up at the end of the travel to help prevent the suspension from bottoming out on big features. One final component that should definitely not be overlooked on the descents is the dropper seat post. This allows you to get the saddle out of the way with the flick of a lever. This means that you can lower your center of gravity directly over the frame, greatly increasing your stability and confidence. So the T8 once again will earn 4.5 out of 5 stars in technical descents. Now the Polygon Colossus is the true champion when it comes to crushing descents, but the T8's suspension, geometry, and even the part spec are all designed to maximize the fun level, and that's what mountain biking is all about. So finally, we've made it to our fifth and final round, but maybe more importantly, we're on to our third and newest frame color, the gold. Pinkbike has already called the T8 one of the best looking value trail bikes, but just wait till they see this one. The metallic flakes catch the light beautifully, and the contrast between the flashy paint with the subtle discreet graphics is just perfect. But don't worry, I haven't forgotten about our final surprise challenge. And since the trails out here in my neck of the woods, Bend, Oregon, are mostly covered in snow, I'm gonna take the bike out to a place I rarely go, the pump track. Whew. If you want to get sweaty, even in the snow in winter, then heading down to your local pump track is definitely the way to do that. And the bike has been handling itself surprisingly well. You know, we have these nice four piston brakes out here, which really help me to manage my speed when I'm going into those berms and those tight corners. Another thing to keep in mind that came in super handy here for me at the pump track is having adjustable compression. I already know being out of the pump track takes a ton of energy, so it really is not something I wanna lose extra energy into my fork or shock. So getting those switched out correctly really makes a difference. So overall, I'm gonna give the T8 a three out of five stars when taking it out to the pump track. I think it is so worthwhile to be at the pump track to practice when you can't get out to the trails. If you want the best bike for the pump track, just like at the Dirt Chumps, the Trid is gonna be the bike for you. But again, I think it is totally worthwhile for skill building to get out here on your trail bikes too. So there you have it. Clearly, the Polygon T8 is game and up for anything. With four sizes, three different colors, and two wheel sizes, how could you really go wrong? So drop me a comment below letting me know what terrain category is your favorite to test your bikes out on. And while you're down there, like and subscribe to Bikes Online channel, where I'll be hanging out. And once you've done that, get out there and get ripping.